Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time, that I do. I know how valuable it is. I appreciate all your support you give me. Uh, like reaching out, hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. Thanks for that, appreciate it. And you know, that old subscription button, if it's still red, you know, the question is, why is it red? <laughs> Seriously, I want to thank all my Leos that have reached out and blessed me with donations. I always want to take a minute for gratitude. You know, it's so very important in life. Leo, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. And a big shout out and thank you to all my Rambling Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. You are truly the sponsors of this channel here. Thank you, my friends. I'm going to take a minute right here and talk about some of the perks about uh, becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation. One of the biggest perks is that every Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we do a Wednesday Friends Day. Live reading of all 12 Zodiacs. I like to come bearing gifts for my members. I like to bring a boatload of t-shirts. I got ooey gooey, soft and chewies. I got a new one in here recently. <clears throat> A little Ramblin' Nation shirt, you know, with our happy little people all around the world that we live in. And let me see what else I got over here. Yeah, Ramblin' Mike's Tarot. Got a bunch of t-shirts. I give away four of them every Wednesday night. And on Saturday, we'll have another giveaway where I give away more t-shirts. We give away at least 20 t-shirts every month. I also love to give away Tarot and Oracle decks to my members. On the 21st, on Wednesday, Friends Day, going to be giving away the Santa Maria. I pulled this out of my own private collection. It's got the beautiful silk bag on it. I call it the Santa Maria. You know, many of you know this deck. It's a very cool deck. On the 21st, going to give that away to one of my lucky members of Ramblin' Nation. Also on the 21st, you know, tis the season. I have the, I have the Gothic Tarot right here. Get that pretty. Of the Gothic Tarot right here. Love this deck. It's very cool. I modified it. I like to make them a little special for my members. Um, this is put out by the same people that put out Madame and Dora's uh, fortune cards. On the 21st. On the 28th, Wednesday the 28th, going to be giving away the Witch's Tarot. The one with the big magnet box and, and the big beautiful color book in it. Uh, this deck, though, this uh, that I'm giving away is my YouTube deck. Uh, give this away to one of my members. Uh, many people love these decks right here. These decks have been loved on by thousands of people. A lot of, lot of good mojo in these decks right here. That's on the 28th, giving away my YouTube deck to one of my lucky members of Ramblin' Nation. <clears throat> and also on the 28th, going to give away this old classic right here, The Vampire's Tarot. I love it. It was made back in the 80s or 90s, something like that. And uh, if you ask old Ramblin', there's old rock stars in here that they turned into vampires. It's a fun deck. So if you've been thinking about hitting that join button, go ahead and do it now. It should be located uh, down by the subscription button. If, if there's not a join button there on your device, then in every one of my videos, in the description area, is a link that'll take you to the membership page. So I will see many of you Wednesday night. All right, Leo, let's play some cards right here. Thanks for your patience while I talk to my friends. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's take a little look, see that love right here from my, my wonderful Leo friends. Let's tune in. Hey, Terry, we love team. Leo's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Leo see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Leo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Leo. Cutting the deck. And if you played cards with me before, you know I'm going to give you a nice full spread right here. Here we go, Leo. First card out. Oh, the lovers. The lovers showing up right there. That can very much be, you know, about making a choice. 
between lovers at this particular point in time. This is, a, I mean, this is a major arcana. It's Gemini, may mean something to you, may not. It's a very uh, powerful card of, of, of soulmate connections. Definitely, definitely. Many times when the lover's card shows up, it's about uh, making choices between real, serious, soulmate connections. Let's see where this goes right there. Right in the middle of your heartbeat is the lovers. Crossed over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got the lover coming in here, Leo. Oh, that's the one that makes the heart go boom, da -da boom, da -da boom, boom, boom. Yeah, here come the lover come prancing in. Ooh. Got the waterfall crushing down there. Oh, Lord, help us all. Hi, Leo. Here's my cup. Oh, it's water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, the, the old dreaded knight in shining armor. Coming in here to offer my Leos a cup, causing Leo to make a choice. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> Base of the spread is the Princess of Wands. Just fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, could be somebody that you've known because this is at the base of the spread. It's about a passionate beginning. You know, it's about passionate communication. I mean, why else? It could, it could be Leo reaching out. I mean, this is fire and it is a communication card, but I'm going to read it like the loves come to you, but it could play out vice versa. There's definitely new love coming in here. Passionate. This is about passionate communication. Some, something that somebody's wanted to do for a while. So at the base of the spread, our little princess of wands. Here we go. Wow. Uh, <laughs> A major arcana came out here, Leo. It's the death card. Scorpio may mean something to you, may not. Something could have ended. You know, and this is a major, so. Something major could have ended. Uh, but, you know, this is a powerful card. Because it's about death, birth, and resurrection. Major transformation coming in here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not an astrologer, but I, but I watch it, and I know that Saturn and Jupiter are are beelining right now for the sign of Aquarius, which is your seventh house of committed relationships. Uh, I do believe I'm not an astrologer. I do believe they enter in the same day into Aquarius. Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck. And Saturn, you know, the old taskmaster there, the one that uh, keeps everything grounded, you know, <laughs> grounded. I'll say that again. Um, they're heading into your seventh house of committed relationships and will be there. Jupiter will be there uh, for an entire year. And Saturn's going to be there for, you know, the better part of three years. Very interesting. Death, birth, and resurrection. Got a lover coming in here. Got passionate communication. Something that somebody's wanted to do for a while. Making a choice between lovers. <clears throat> Got the old pale. The pale horse right there. So something probably that was pretty intense. Sitting right there by that lover's card. Probably came to an end for many of my... Leo's building into that transformation and everything I just talked about, about the, the planets moving towards your seventh house. Let's see what crowns the spread right here. You have five of swords. Oh, Lord, help us all, man. Help us all. That's air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. That is that card about standing up and doing what's best for you. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's got our little prince right there. Standing up in the front of the car. They had their armor on. They knew what they were going to do. They were going to go down to the beach right here and steal all these swords from these characters in the back. And and that he did. And then he has that little pompous look on his face like, Pop! You get what you get, Leo! It's a card of manipulation, control, possible narcissistic behavior. That's a good reason to end something. So that something wonderful can come in this 
Look at this lover right here. You know, I'm passing a communication, something somebody's been wanting for a while. <clears throat> Is that card about standing up, putting yourself up in the front of the card of life? Doing what's best for you. And, you know, setting somebody in the timeout chair. Probably fired them with a the death card right there. Because they didn't know how to love on you right, Leo. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, near future is the river of tears. You know, the processing. Uh, death cycle can be challenging. Many times the death cycle can be challenging because, you know, you put a lot of work and a lot of effort into the situation for it just to end up just over. Standing at the river of tears right there. There's some spilled cups. Somebody may have spilled my Leo's cups, five of swords right here. But Leo, <clears throat> there's two cups behind this character right here. Those are the cups of bliss. Those are the cups of the true love in the tarot. You're supposed to turn around, not focus on the spilled cups. I know. I, this, is a, this, is a, this is processing. I understand this. But it says, you know, to turn around. That there's two cups out there for you, Leo. Pick up those two cups of bliss. Go over the bridge over troubled water. Back up to that high vibration castle up there. That's where you're supposed to be. Flying high. But I mean, <clears throat> my throat chakra right here. You know, that card right there is about communication. You know. <laughs> something that somebody's wanted to do for a while. These two cups right here, man. A death cycle. Major transformation coming in. <clears throat> Something's up with my throat chakra this whole time. It's challenging for me to even speak. I don't like that source. Let me talk. Thank you. Let my Leos talk too if they want to. River Tears, Five of Swords, Two Fives, Leo, and the Death Card. Fives talk about change, change for the better, because of contrast. They're definitely contrast cards. But you know, like I've said many times, huh? contrast is our friend. I know it's challenging to remember that when we're going through it. But it shows us what we don't want. That's the only way we can really know what we do want. Is when we have the basis of what we don't want. Because words don't really teach. You know what teaches? Life lessons teach. And this talks about change coming in here from my Leo. I like that lover right in the middle of your spread. The one that makes your heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. It's got to be that two cups right there. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've got a judgment card here, Leo. I told you right here, man, that this may have been somebody you know. I don't know, you know, I, I'm not even a lover. Maybe just a friend in the past back here. Because this shows Gabriel flying around, blowing the horn. It's a, it's a major arcana. It's number 20. It's judgment. You know, it's about Leo making a judgment call. Oh, it's sitting right there by the communication card. What? You know, it's about uh, making a judgment call. Um, do, I, do I want some lovers to come up out of the grave? Do I want a new beginning? Maybe with an old friend. I don't even know if they're lovers. I don't even know if they're lovers. I don't, I don't feel that they maybe could be friends, you know. That could turn into the lover right here. Let's see where this goes, man. I'm definitely thinking about these two cups. What are these two cups right here? Leo obviously knows what these two cups are. Could just be a friend. Could be an old lover. You know. Could be somebody new just straight up out of the blue. But this is about thinking about bringing something up from the grave. Death, birth, and resurrection. Major transformation. Definitely letting these fives go. Enough of that right there. Let's get a new lover in Leo's world right here. Let's get the right one in here. Now, five of wands sitting on top of the lover's card. 
I think it's just the tussle. It's the woo woo. I mean, my throat, man. It didn't want to. It doesn't want to talk. You know, may have been, may have been, may have been some tussle with this person in the past, but uh, it is what it is. Five of Wands, another five. Definitely talk about change coming in here from my Leos, man. Just a little, there's a little war going on with Leos. I think it's more processing if you're with me right here with this. Thinking about reaching out to somebody, you know, wondering if they'd be receptive. That's what Five of Wands could be on top of the lovers. And 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 the lover right there, the the Knight of Cups. Here we go. Let's see. Got a lot of cards coming up. Oh, 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 oh. but in the hopes position right here, Leo is two cups. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. This is about hoping for a new beginning with a soulmate, twin flame, life partner, energy right here. That may have just been a friend. There may have been some kind of fallout and five of wands shows up on top of this lover, the one that's about to come prancing into Leo's world or vice versa. And that's common. It is what it is. But uh, Leo wants a new start. These two cups right here. Go ahead and process. Love on yourself. Hear yourself. There's major transformation coming in here for you. Yeah, eight swords right there. That's the energy over the whole thing right here. Doggone it. Eight swords is the old jailhouse of the mind. Five wands. The river of tears. Processing a lot of stuff. You know, feeling stuck. But she's not stuck. She could get out of there anytime she wants, Leo. She could back up on one of those swords right there and cut those loose binds off. Pull that blindfold off. Get out of that little miry clay. And again, get back up here to that high vibration castle that's up there on the top of that cliff. It's about Leo getting out their head. No, uh, maybe it's my Leos that are going to be reaching out. Finally, I can talk. <laughs> I told Source I don't like that, but it is what it is. Bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck. I got my Queen of Wands. You know, if you ask me, this is absolutely a Leo card right here. You know, because this is somebody good looking, charismatic, exciting, fun to be with, the life of the party. The party doesn't start until Queen of Wands shows up. She's also magic. You know, she has that black cat in her lap right there. It's because she's not afraid of the esoteric, probably involved in it. You know, she's witchy poo. Now, the thing that I like about Queen of Wands is she knows her worth. And that's what these journeys are about. You know, with a soulmate that doesn't really work out the way that you thought it would. These journeys are all about self-worth. And realizing how amazing you are. And this queen knows how amazing she is. Or he is. And if you don't show them how amazing they are. They will move on. So I see you breaking free from that eight of swords energy right there. Uh, gonna, get, <laughs> gonna go be playing some kissy face under the old oak tree right there. And look, there's a healing caduceus right there as well in this card. Yeah. Yeah, wonder who you're going to be playing with. Oh, I got a king of wands right here. Yeah, I got some soulmates right here, man. The lover's card. Major transformation between these two right here, man. The king and the queen of passion. You know, they may have not been speaking for a while. There may have been a little tussle between them at one time. Huh? But things are changing here. I got nine of cups. That's coming out between the king and the queen of wands. Bells ringing right here. Nine cups. Oh, look, the lover's coming in with the tenth cup right there, Leo. That's the happy ever after card. Ten cups. Once upon a time, there was Leo and they lived happily ever after. Somebody needs to make contact here. 
That's what I see. But, you know, it may come after this processing time right here with, you know, I want you to love on yourself first. I definitely, you know, five swords can get you in that eight swords uh, mentality right there, you know. I, I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't understand it, but they always talk about how many times, I don't know, how the, the, the kidnapped one falls in love with the kidnapper. I don't know, but something about old five swords right there and getting people stuck in their heads. But I see you just processing, loving on yourself, desiring new and exciting and passionate love to come into your life, healing yourself. And there's some kind of contact that's going to come in here. Let's get the witch's tarot out right here because this is really nice. But it's all about my Leo getting themselves free out of eight swords right here that somebody put you in because of five swords. She's not really trapped. She can get out of there anytime she wants. All right. Let's go back to the lover's card in the middle of this spread. There we go. Why is the Lover's card and the Knight of Cups in the heartbeat of this Celtic cross? Thank you. Oh, I got a King of Love that just showed up right there. More water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This, this, this lover right here. This lover right here. You know, because the King of Love... Is somebody that loves you very deeply, male or female, but they may have not been showing you how they really feel about you. I it's not it's not this death cycle. That's done. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, processing all of that. No, it's this lover right here. The one that's coming in for my Leo. Who they already got deep feels for you. You know, the five of wands right there. I think that both of these people are kind of kind of wrestling with this right now. I say break free, man. Whoever needs to reach out, somebody needs to reach out right here, man. King of love. This is deep, deep, deep love that they may have not really let Leo know how deeply they feel for them. Powerful stuff, man. Here we go. Give me something on this communication card right here at the base of the spread. My princess of wands. Thank you, love team. Why is that here? I got the other princes of wands. Look at man, one's a one. <laughs> one's a little boy. One's a little girl. Hi, hi. Both these two want to talk to each other. The king and the queen of wands. Wish fulfillment. They both want to say hi to each other. They both wanted to say hi to each other for a long time. I can finally talk. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, too. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Love it. Love tarot, man. Here we go. Here we go. The death card. Death, birth, and resurrection. Transformation. You know what jumped out right there? You know what's right. Four of Wands came out, Leo. The old 1111 card. Two of Cups. The lovers right here. The king and the queen of wands. The king and the queen of passion. My two soulmates right there, man. Here they are. I don't know how I don't know how long ago you two knew each other. Because these are children and these are adults, by the way. Just saying. And there's a major transformation. It's painful and challenging for my Leo right here. But that's overcoming it all. And and that's that vibration that you're putting out to the universe right there, two of cups. Source, I want the right one. That's the right one. At a bare minimum, four of wands is about an upgrade in a relationship for me. It's about preparing for the big day. They're all celebrating, and dancing around the maypoles here, preparing for the big day. Four of wands. 
this death cycle, this transformation is going to lead to major stability in a relationship for my Leos. Wow. What a read. Here we go. Five of swords crowning this spread. Why is five swords here? My healthy selfish card. The star. <laughs> wow, Leo. The star crowning the spread because Leo's going to decide to stand up and do what's best for them and probably fire somebody so they can go get their star. This Aquarius may mean something to you, may not. But it definitely shows my golden angelic being with the two cups that are all over the spread right there and right there. One pouring in the water, one pouring on the land. This talks to me about some divines that have been in separation for a season. I don't know how long because these are children here and these are full grown adults right there. And there's a, thousands of people looking at this. But this is about, I mean, the last two cards that came out were the Four of Wands and the star crowning the spread because Leo stand up doing what's best for them. A little bit of processing time right here. Five of Cups. Give me something on Five of Cups for my Leo. Three Wands. I like that, you know, because that's not staying at the River of Tears. Three Wands. This character has their eyes on their ship. They know what they want, Leo. Go get your lover, Leo. And this is about deciding to put all of your heart, soul, and strength into it. To use law of attraction to the best of your ability to get that amazing lover in your world. It's also a card that's connected with Source. Asking Source to help you. Get the right lover to come in to your docks right there. Wow, what a read, man. Here we go. Here we go. Love it for you. Judgment card, please. Why is judgment here for Leo? Justice. A major arcana came out on that. Judgment. Definitely judgment day. The death card right there. You know, justice talks about Leo's love life being full of injustice. That's why justice would come. It's Libra. May mean something to you, may not. Wow. <laughs> That's powerful. This is the balancing of karma between these two. And this is the ending of something that was probably quite karmic. You know, and karmic ain't always bad. It means you learned a shitload of life lessons wherever you were at. You learned what you don't want. So you can set your intentions right here and manifest what you do want. Beautiful stuff, man. Justice coming in. Judgment day at hand. Star crowning the spread. The stability of four of wands coming in as a transformation. Wow. Five wands, please. This is absolutely amazing spread. Five wands, please. Why is it here? Four of cups. Four of cups on top of five of wands with the lovers. Says to me that... That might be what the jailhouse of the mind is about right there. Because that can talk with me about, you know, maybe feeling that the opportunity is gone. Because again, this may have been a very long time with children at the base right here and full grown adults up here on the top. But you know, with this spread, you know, true love, it ain't got no expiration date on it, Leo. Two cups. What a beautiful vibration to be putting out to the universe. Source, I want my true love. I'm, I'm done learning the love game. I learned. I learned the love game here. 
I want my true love source. Why is two cups here in Leo's hopes position? <laughs> it's coming in. Ace of Wands, man. That's about a passionate new beginning. Oh, man, I'm starting to blush. <laughs> a passionate new beginning, man, between soulmate, twin flame, and life partner. It's that Ace of Wands. It may be Leo, man. It's. It's putting us all together, you know. It's about getting your confidence up right there, man. Somebody needs to reach out right here and talk. <laughs> Ace of Wands with a butterfly flying around after the death card. You know, that's that old story of the caterpillar that made the cocoon and went inside and died, turned to goo. I'm sure that wasn't fun for the caterpillar, huh, Leo? But then the divine touches a cocoon. And when it opens up, that butterfly comes out. Ain't never going back to being no caterpillar ever again. Ain't never going back in that cocoon ever again either. I like it, man. I love this story right here for you, Leo. Whew. Eight swords. Come on. Let's get free of eight swords. Why is eight swords here? Well... Six swords came out. You know what I say to that? Hurrah! That is coming out of the eight swords. That's movement mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. It's movement out of those troubled times. And you know, Mike, he's like, you know, where's this guy going? He's heading over to Paradise Island over there <laughs> where the lover's at. You know, where this, where this happiness and joy and bliss is at with these two soulmates right here that may have known each other for a very long time may not may have you know what's going on in your world there it is man learned a shitload of life lessons i'm good learn it this is air again all this air i don't know who you're playing with but i got air all over this thing uh, aquarius libra gemini got water you know i got the king of love my majors, I got Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Wow, only three majors. Oh, and the lovers, Gemini. May mean something to you, may not. I love it, man. Here we go. Here we go. Well, I just want one more on that right there. Six swords. Yeah, because five pinnacles. You know what Five Pinnacles is about for me? It's about these two soulmates right here. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner, whoever these are. When one feels the coldness of the winter, the other one feels it too. Ooh, what a love story, man. What a love story. And, and, there's, and there's Leo, man, coming out, coming out of the old jailhouse of the mind. Moving away from five pinnacles, missing your divine right here, heading over to Paradise Island right there. You know, where the star's at, which crowns the spread as well. It's nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right. All right. I love it, man. I just want to stay in this energy. Can you feel it? It's gorgeous, man. I'm happy for you, Leo. Go get your lover. Go get your lover. Get yourself out of eight swords. Get yourself out of the river of tears as soon as you possibly can by, by setting your intentions and your focus on what you really want. Three of wands. Yeah, love it, man. Justice is coming in. Judgment day is at hand. Oh, man. Give me something on this. Mystic moon, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, I told you, man. That's what the whole journey's about. Oh, my God, man. Self-worth came out. Yeah. My queen of wands, she knows her worth and she's not going to play with anybody that doesn't know how amazing he or she is, period. Wow, you learned a lot. I mean, that, that's a karmic lover and if that's the lesson you got out of it, amazing. Hey, hey, hey. That's victory in its own. But you get this amazing love coming in here too, man. Wow. More please for Leo. Thank you. God, I love this read, man. I don't want it to end. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, 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 oh. 
have to pick it up off the floor. It is a patience card. That is that card of allowing this to unfold. And, and I really feel that there's a, there's a period of healing for my Leos right here. Love on yourself first. Love on yourself first, Leo. Love on yourself first. Patience with yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. And you know, it was all probably supposed to have gone through. I know it's crazy when these are crazy cards, but don't be hard on yourself, Leo, because this is unfolding beautifully for you. Let it continue to unfold. Love yourself first. Here we go. Signs, you know, you're going to be guided and led. To, and uh, I mean, maybe this tarot read and other tarot reads are those kind of signs that the universe is giving you and which direction you're supposed to go in. You know, it's clear that Leo wants their real lover anymore. So this tells me that the universe is absolutely going to be giving you the signs and the direction that, that, you, that you would desire to go in to catch this star person right there. Nice, man. Oh, and, you know, I mean, and, and, and the signs as well to realize that the answer is no over here. Because I, there's still a strong connection over here that's possibly keeping my Leo in that Eight of Swords. Jealous in the mind. Hmm. One more, please. That is dry and parched ground over there. Getting signs, I would say, for both. We're just going to let it at this. Lessons. Wow. Love card on this, please. Let's learn the lessons that we need to learn. That's why we came here to Earth School, right? And it's opening up to beautiful, beautiful love for you. It's all about you getting out of the jailhouse of the mind and you getting in your boat right there and heading over to Paradise Island. Something here is amazing. Wow, that's gorgeous, man. Love card for Leo. Right in line with this reading. It says, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's what you're going to be doing. That's what these two cards are about in the near future. Clearly deciding what you want so that it comes to you now. Wow. Choose the star, Leo. That's just ramblings. Ramblings, you know, advice. <laughs> Can we get some advice? Yeah, choose a star. <laughs> Here we go, man. More for Leo, please. Oh, separation. Definitely going to be separating for somebody if you already haven't. And I feel that these two may have been in separation for a period. That's really what the story is about, is these two. They've probably grown significantly since the last time they saw each other. I love it, man. Ooh, make the effort came out. Somebody's going to make the effort. It says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh, and underneath that, I got religious factors, which can talk of, you know, it's my Four of Wands card. It can talk about major age differences, cultural differences, racial differences, religious differences, spiritual, all those challenging things with love. It's about overcoming all of that. Wow, look at this right here, man. Honeymoon came out. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. That's nice, Leo, because where I live, 
We're definitely coming into the holiday season. <laughs> and Jupiter and Saturn going into Aquarius in my world in the holiday season of December. Honeymoon came out, Leo. Well, let's just do it, huh? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And it may have been many, many years here. The romance of a lifetime. Wow, what a read, man. What a read, man. I love it for you, Leo. Go get your lover, man. Go get your true love. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. <laughs> Who, Leo, man. What do we got? The chariot. Cancer, yet again, that is that card of victory. It does have the dark pony and the light pony on it. You know, the old yin-yang story that I'm looking at right here. That is a card of victory. It's a card of movement. It's a card of forward movement. Bottom of the deck, I got the magician for you. That's the manifester. That's the one that takes it from the 5D and grounds it into the 3D. That's the magician. Is it getting a new beginning in all areas of their life? As he has the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Oh, the communication. My throat feels a lot better because somebody's going to reach out here. This is Mercury, the planet of communication. It's also Gemini, Virgo, and Aries. Going to be manifesting victory. Oh, and there's the Leo card. Leo, taking a leap of faith. Wow. Leo, hope you enjoyed it. No, I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Leo. Bye for now.